For the record, once again, I have never liked this movie. Ever. Just saying. <laughs> but anyway, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. And I want to welcome everybody back to another video. Continuing on with not only the Child's Play series of reviews, even though they're not called Child's Play at this point anymore. Um, but this is also another paid request from Leon Woodworth, who wanted me to review the entire franchise. And, well, it's weird because I was actually planning on doing these anyway for the month of October. And then Leon sent them in as a paid request, so it all ended up working out. Um, so thank you for that. But uh, today we're going to be talking about Bride of Chucky, which again, I have never liked this movie. I've only seen it a couple times. Um, that's it. And I hope I never have to watch this movie again because I am not a fan of this film. <laughs> I never was. Uh, there is some positives about it, but we'll get to that. But yeah. Um, but it, before we go any further, if anybody would like to help to contribute, if I could talk, that would be awesome. Must be the beard. The beard's getting too long. Got to shave. Got to trim it. Um, if anybody would like to help contribute to the channel by sending in a paid request such as this, you may do so down below in the description box. There is a link to my PayPal account. No amount is too big. No amount is too small. It does not have to be just a movie review. It could be a TV series or a cartoon or a comic book or a video game or music or a commentary or a stream, a rant, random videos, whatever you guys want to see me tackle here on the channel. That is what the paid request is set up for. Um, so again, for those interested, send it in and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. For those that have sent in paid requests before, I appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun so far, a lot of interesting stuff. It does help me keep going and stay motivated to make videos, so it all works out. You guys get what you want, I get what I want, everybody's happy, and that's what it's all about here on my channel. So again, that option is available. Uh, but before we go into this, there was a couple things that I forgot to mention about the prior videos. Um, first of all, I know people are wondering, do you have any of the Chucky dolls or figures i do not actually i have one I'm at, well okay out of like the dolls like the good guy dolls or the chucky dolls that they would sell at spencer's i don't have any of those um i've always wanted to get them but i just don't have them now um for the longest time the only one that you could get was the bride of chucky one when the movie first came out back in 1998 Spencer's did the Chucky and the Tiffany dolls, but if you were to try to get them outside of Spencer's, they were back then, especially in the boxes and such, they were really expensive to get. They were like two, three hundred dollars. Now, Spencer's has them every year for Halloween. Uh, Spirit Halloween has them. I mean, Spirit is actually owned by Spencer's, it's the same company. Um, so, yeah, they're not really that hard to get anymore. But back, like, when this movie came out, they were, if it wasn't Halloween, they were damn near impossible to find. Um, I've always wanted to get at least the Chucky one, but I never got them. Now, they've done, I think, every movie. They've done, like, the good guy Chucky, and they've done, like, the one with the screwed up face. So, they're not hard to find now. But back in the late 90s into the early 2000s, they were pretty hard to come by. But I don't have any of those. I do have the original Movie Maniac Chucky, which was from Child's Play 2. That is upstairs in the attic somewhere in a box with a bunch of other toys. I do have that one. Because um, for a while... I was getting a lot of the Movie Maniac stuff over there. I have Freddy and Jason. I have the original 7-inch Freddy and Jason. I have the Crow, the 18-inch Crow upstairs. I have the 18-inch Michael Myers, even though the arms are broken. Um, for a while, I was getting a lot of the Movie Maniac stuff. And a lot of, and I have over, over there, I have Snake Plissken. So I do have a bunch of those. I do have the Chucky one upstairs. I want to say I have the Leatherface one, but I can't remember if I do or not. 
Uh, that that and the Michael Myers. I don't have the original Michael Myers. There's one. There's actually a guy on Facebook Marketplace that has one. I want to try and grab that. I don't have that one. I might have Leatherface. I cannot remember if I have the Leatherface one or not. Because um, that's the one with the bucket of the severed heads and everything. So that's actually pretty cool. And um, quite surprised they were able to make those figures back then. And they did do the bloody versions, which I have the bloody versions of Freddy and Jason. Um, but I don't have, and I think I have the bloody, because there's like blood on his overalls. Um, I think I have all the bloody versions. So good. And then they did like the PG versions, which you could get at Walmart. But I didn't want those. Um, cause I know people are probably wondering if I had any of that stuff. I don't. Um, I think that was the only thing I forgot to mention. Like if I had any of the doll, like the good guy dolls, I don't, but, uh, like Spencer or yeah, Spencer's and spirit Halloween actually sell them like right now. So I might actually go to a spirit Halloween this season and get one. Cause I don't have a good guy doll. Now the first one. When the first movie came out on VHS, there was a video store promo Chucky doll that came out, but it was the one with the suction cups that you put on the window. Those are really, really hard to get. There is a couple on eBay right now, but they are pricey. They're like $200 and up because they were the original ones that come out. So you couldn't even get those like retail. And then... When Universal got the rights, because like the Universal Horror Nights, they did a couple Universal Studio exclusive Chucky dolls. Now, they're on eBay. They are a little pricey as well. But those were the original ones that come out before Spencer's and all that. So if you're looking for an original one, those are the ones to get. Uh, but again, they are pricey. And if you can find them in the box, you can find them in the box. But oh well. But again, I think that was the only thing I forgot to mention. Uh, prior to this video. So seven minutes in, whatever. I don't care about this movie. I don't like this movie. But Bride of Chucky. Now, again, the timeline is weird because this came out in 98, which would have been seven years after three. But Jennifer Tilly says, I've been looking for you for 10 years. Now, I don't know if she meant 10 years after the first movie because this is 10 years later. Um, I don't know, but the timelines, of course, are all weird and jacked up in every movie that's out there. So this time around, Jennifer Tilly comes into the fold as Tiffany. She was a girl that dated Chucky back in the day. Apparently, they were together the night that he got killed. Of course, they're always adding continuity to shit that didn't need it in the first place. Oh, it just shows you how excited I am to talk about this movie. And... She's been looking for the remains of Chucky. She pays off a cop to get it. She kills the cop, and she tries to bring Chucky back. And she does, and in with the intent of being with him forever, but Chucky never really loved her, so she gets really mad. Chucky kills her, brings her back as a doll, and they have to go and find this amulet, which will help them be resurrected as human beings. Again, I know a lot of people like this movie, but the plot is paper thin. The plot is the same as before. This is basically Bride of Frankenstein with Chucky. And it's still the plot of they need to get resurrected, and that's what they're doing. So we've reused the plot from the previous three movies, so nothing new is here. The only thing that's different is they add a love interest, which was... I like. Don't get me wrong, I like Jennifer Tilly. I do. I'm a fan of her work. But... Not in this, not in these movies. I don't like these movies. You know, she does fine. She does what she has to do. I'm sure the paychecks were nice, but I would much rather watch her in any other movie that she was in because I cannot, especially the next movie, I cannot fucking stand. So this, I mean, this might be like a nice rant because I, I just, I can't, I cannot get into this movie. I cannot. I remember when this came out. I remember in theaters when this came out, when I was a kid. I remember the poster being everywhere. I remember the VHS being really big when it came out. I remember seeing the Chucky and the Tiffany dolls at Spencer's because that was a big deal because that was the first time that you could buy at a retail store 
a Chucky doll because again, the only ones that were available prior were at Universal Studios exclusively. That was the only place that you could get them. Um, and this movie did very well when it came out. It was very popular. I know a lot of people still really like it. I have never liked this movie. I think I look. I tried to sit through this. I really did. I've seen it enough to know, but. I cannot stand this movie. I got about halfway through it and I had to turn it off because it's just so pretentious to me. It is so pretentious. And it's try, you know, it tries to be Scream, which, and they even ripped off Scream 2 for the poster, mind you. And every horror movie that was coming out after Scream had to be like, that had to be a studio fucking mandate. I swear. Back in the late 90s and the early 2000s when these movies were, the slasher movies were popular again. Because Chucky is a slasher. Let's be honest here. When the slasher movies became cool again, there had to be a fucking studio mandate that said it has to be like Scream. It has to be funny. It has to be referential or we're not making this movie. Because they were all like that. All the Scream movies, Halloween H2O, Halloween Resurrection... More so this one, Seed of Chucky, not really, because Seed of Chucky was doing its own thing, which is fucking stupid, and you can blame Don Fettuccini for that. Whatever. It's stupid. He's an idiot. And he's a shitty filmmaker on top of that. So, and then, obviously, I Know What You Did Last Summer, and Urban Legend, and even the ones that went straight to video were... All trying to be like Scream. Again, that had to be a fucking studio mandate from every studio back then. It had to be. If it's not, then I'm the biggest idiot in the world, but I swear it had to be. And it tries to do that with this movie. And I love, I just love how people bitch about Child's Play 2 and 3. Chucky became too funny. It became too goofy. Have you not seen this one? Have you not seen Seed of Chucky? Because they went way into fucking comedy land with this, and they did that on purpose because it became a fucking joke to everybody, like it is now with all these franchises. So Child's Play became a joke before every other fucking franchise did. Because now it, it's way too funny. I haven't even seen uh, Curse and Cult of Chucky, but they went way in the wrong direction and the, the, it's way too reliant on comedy in, in this one and particularly the next one because the next one has a scene where Chucky masturbates into a fucking cup because that's what people want to watch like this movie you have a scene where Chucky and Tiffany are getting high who the fuck wants to watch that Don Fettuccini is a fucking idiot and then you have a scene where they have sex because that's what people want to see. Puppets having sex. It was funny in Team America because it was a parody of everything. But in this movie, no. It's fucking stupid. I cannot stand, you know, and Brad Dorff, I like, I love Brad Dorff as an actor. Again, like I said in the original movie review, he is one of the most underrated actors of all time because he should have been a superstar leading man actor because he had the talent he had the capabilities and it would have worked but for whatever reason hollywood said no there's a couple one-liners in this that i like like his first one it's not the size that matters asshole it's how you use it and then i'm chucky the killer doll and then at the end go ahead shoot me i'll be back i always come back but dying is such a bitch other than that, I don't care. Him trying to sympathize with Tiffany and them trying to have a relationship, I don't fucking care. Chucky was a lot scarier when it was just him. I'm I'm going to say that. And Don, Fett Don fucking Fettuccini, well, I always wanted to do multiple Chuckies. That defeats the purpose. Are you going to have just multiple serial killers that just magically know voodoo all of a sudden, embody their spirits into a killer doll, and have an army of Chuckies? If I want to watch that, I'll watch Small Soldiers. Because Small Soldiers came out the same year, I believe around the same time as this movie. And it's a way better fucking movie than this. The point of Child's Play is to have Chucky as the focus, not an army 
of different Chuckies, not multiple Chuckies. I, I don't want to see that. I'm sure a lot of you don't want to see that. It's stupid to me. The appeal is Charles Lee Ray, not Chucky and Jimmy and Billy with a fucking double dragon now and nine million other characters. It defeats the purpose. But Chucky worked, these movies worked a lot better when it was just him. And again, don't get me wrong, I like Jennifer Tilly as an actress. I really enjoy her in Monsters, Inc. I enjoy her in House Arrest, which is a movie that nobody ever talks about. I like her in pretty much anything that I see her in. From what I've heard, she's a really nice lady. I've never met her. I would like to. And I know that her career really blew up when she did these movies and all this other shit. And that's fine. I'm glad that she had a career. Um, I'm glad, you know, again, I'm pretty sure the paychecks were really nice for these movies. And it resonated with people and they love her. And that's great. But I don't fucking like these movies after the third one because it got stupid. When you start call, when when it stopped being called child's play is when I stopped giving a shit because you took away everything that made Chucky cool. It wasn't unique anymore. It wasn't scary anymore. It became a parody of itself, and it's fucking dumb. And I don't care. I know a lot of you watching this probably are in the same boat as me and don't fucking care. But this movie is overrated, and that's not something that I say all the time. I don't, you know, really go on and on about, well, this movie's overrated and that movie's overrated. I more just give my, like, I like it and I don't like it. But this movie is fucking overrated. Like I said, it was a big hit when it came out. I remember when this came out. Now, granted, I was only six at the time. But I remember the poster being everywhere. I remember going to the mall and seeing at Spencer's and seeing the Chucky and the Tiffany dolls next to the Kiss figures and the other horror stuff, because that's when Spencer's did that before it was dildos and t-shirts. When Spencer's was cool, not now. It's just a fucking novelty shop now. I remember the VHS being really big when it first came out. I remember copies everywhere. But I do not like this movie. I have never liked this movie. I rented this from Blockbuster many years ago because I was trying to catch up on these films. And I didn't like it then. And then I had the DVD because it was the box set, which had 2, 3, and then Bride and Seed of Chucky. Now, I think the only reason, like, there was a specific reason why I got that box set. I think it might have been, it, I think it was Child's Play 3, if I'm not mistaken. I think the original DVD release of Child's Play 3 was in full screen. Maybe even Child's Play 2. I think the reason why I got that set is because the individual releases were not widescreen. That don't quote me, but that might have been the reason why I got that set. And it had the like the 3D Chucky that like popped out. That was the other reason. But I think specifically why I bought that DVD set was because two and three were in widescreen. Maybe. Or maybe it was because Seed of Chucky was the uncut version, which I don't fucking care about that movie. But I bought it for the sake of it was it might have been that, I don't remember, but there was a specific reason why I bought that set. And I think it might have been because Child's Play 2 and 3 were in widescreen and the original DVDs were in full screen. I'm probably wrong on that. It was probably because Seed was uncut. And I'm like, well, it's the unrated version. I, I need to get that version. But fuck that movie. We'll get to that when we get to that. But this movie is so overrated. And people shit on 2 and I mean... Not really two, like some people shit on two, let's be honest. But people shit on three, and I'm like, I would rather watch three ten times over than ever even think about watching this movie again. But, I mean, there is some positives. The soundtrack. There is a good soundtrack, because the movie opens up with Rob Zombie's Living Dead Girl. Can't go wrong there. Uh, Bruce Dickinson is on the soundtrack because he was still solo at the time. Motorhead's on the soundtrack. Judas Priest with Tim Ripper Owens. Uh, Slayer. Fuck Slayer. I cannot fucking stand Slayer besides one song, Raining Blood. Um, but there's a lot of like industrial and hard rock and heavy metal on the soundtrack. I will give the movie respect there. I will give the movie props for the practical effects. The the puppets and the kills, it's all practical. I can't go, I, I will give the movie credit there. 
Ronnie Yu, like everyone now shits on Freddy versus Jason. But this Freddy versus Jason is way fucking better than even with its flaws. Because Freddy vs. Jason is nowhere near a perfect movie. I will be the first person to tell you that. And I love Freddy vs. Jason. I loved it when it came out, and I still love it almost 20 years later. Which is really fucking scary that that movie is almost 20 years old. I feel old. Because <laughs> I remember when it came out. And I was, what, 11 when it came out? Yeah. It's a long time ago. But... With Even with the flaws in Freddy vs. Jason, which is the performance of Jason, the look of Jason, the shaky cam, and the horrible CG, I would that's the biggest flaws. I would much rather watch that movie than this. And people shit on that. It's Well, Ronnie Yu's best American film was not Warriors of Virtue. <laughs> uh, definitely not Warriors of Virtue. Bride of Chucky. Really? Really? No. I, I do not agree. Freddy vs. Jason is a way better movie. Again, whether the flaws of that film and then the behind-the-scenes politics that fuck that movie up. I would much rather watch that movie than this movie. I like John Ritter in the film. Now, John Ritter originally, I think, was going to be in the third movie. There was going to be a scene in the third movie where these kids are trying to get into the good guy doll factory. And John Ritter was going to play a security guard, and he was going to scare the kids away by telling all these stories about Chucky. For whatever reason, that scene was never filmed. I don't know how far they got in negotiations with John Ritter. I guess they remembered that and brought him back for this movie. And I do like him in this movie. Why? Because it's John fucking Ritter. I am a huge fan. I remember when he died. It was very sad. It's still very sad. Um... I was always a huge fan of John Ritter. I absolutely love him. I think he's one of the best comedic geniuses we ever had. Um, and I do like him in this movie. It is impossible for me to dislike a John Ritter performance. I can't help it. I'm a John Ritter fanboy. And I miss him a lot. And I do like him in this movie. He is really the best part of this movie. And the soundtrack. And the practical effects. Other than that, I don't fucking care. I don't care about Katherine Heigl. I have never been a Katherine Heigl fan. She is a fucking twat waffle in real life. And that comes off in her movies. You can tell. And I can't stand her in this movie. The boyfriend, I didn't give fuck all about him. The gay guy that's supposed to be her boyfriend, but it's the cover. I don't care about him. And the only reason why they made him gay is because of Don fucking Fettuccini being gay. Look, I don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you're a lesbian. I don't care if you're both. I don't care if you suck dick. I don't care if you take it up the ass. But it does not have to be in every single fucking movie. People are tired of it. They were tired of it in the 90s, and they're definitely tired of it fucking now, 30 years later, when every goddamn movie, the characters have to be gay. People are fucking tired of it. People do not go to movies to have the gay agenda shoved in there. And it gets worse with the fucking next movie. And the fact that Don Fettuccini is an incompetent fucking director doesn't help. And we'll get to that in the next movie. I know I keep saying that. Again, I will give this movie practical effects. I will give this movie the practical kills. I will give it the soundtrack. I will give it John Ritter. Other than that, I don't fucking care. There's less slow-mo in this movie than Freddy vs. Jason. But Freddy vs. Jason is still a better fucking movie. Again, I will watch that movie ten times over than even think about watching this. Fuck this movie. I don't want to see Chucky smoking weed and having sex. It's fucking stupid. I don't want to see Tiffany give birth to a baby puppet and then it kills the guy for the fucking jump scare ending, which sets up the next movie. Which that went in a completely different direction than this one. So it didn't even make fucking sense to make Seed of Chucky the way that it was made when you're trying to piggyback off of this because this was a hit. But I cannot fucking stand this movie. I have never liked it. The only reason why I had it on DVD for the longest time is because it came in the box set. And again, there was a specific reason why I got that box set. It was either Child's Play 2 and 3 were in widescreen in that set. And I'm like, well, they were fucking filmed in widescreen. 
I want to watch them in widescreen. Or it was C to Chucky was the uncut version, and I said, well, it's uncut. So just because it's uncut, I thought it was better, but no, because that movie sucks dick. So does this movie, and not literally, because that's what Don Fettuccini would want. And I know, it, oh, you're, you're a homophobe. No, it's just making a bad joke. I know. I have dad jokes. And he's never going to fucking watch this video anyway. And I'm not a fucking homophobe. I'm just a smart ass. But anyway, I've gone on way too long about fucking Bride of Chucky. I have never liked this movie. I will never like this movie. Fuck this movie and fuck the next one and probably fuck the other two. And then we'll get to the remake and see what happens. But until then, as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care. Next up, see you to Chucky. Fuck that movie too. Later.